Well, you can see behind me, not an ideal way to start the work day. The picture really tells the story here. And of course, the cleanup took some time. When a rocking chair appears at an accident scene, you know cleanup could take some time. Connie Taylor couldn't agree more. Um, I heard a truck driving down the street, and then all of a sudden, we heard something goes like a sudden stop. Not long after Connie ran out of the express laundromat, she ran into the very upset driver of this truck who slammed his trailer into this railroad bridge over New Haven's James Street. What uh, did the driver say? Damn. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> damn. <laughs> he said, damn, I'm telling you the truth. He said, damn. He was a little upset. Worried about his job. Worried about his job. What's going to happen? I hope he'd be okay because everybody got to work. The driver picked up his load in Durham and was heading to El Paso, Texas, when he says his GPS took him here. Please tell us this happens way too often. Connie, who works at the laundromat, agrees. The breeze always wins. <laughs> Amtrak says two trains were delayed by an hour as officials inspected the tracks and bridge and determined it was safe. <laughs> Meanwhile, boxes were offloaded from the wreck trailer onto a new one. The rocky chair came from the truck too, but workmen seemed a bit busy to use it. It's hard for our business, for our people to come inside our place to work. And we're told that actually it was Amtrak that issued the driver a citation. On the scene in New Haven, Jamie Muro, News 8.